So here's a quick video that shows you some of the new things in InDesign CS6, and it's just meant to, I guess, to give you some the the more hidden features uh, rather than the ones that they kind of you know yell at you about. So here's a couple of them. One of them I love is if you have an InDesign file, and if you've ever had to try and give somebody an InDesign file that has a previous version of InDesign, like let's say you're in CS 5.5 and somebody's in five, you'd have to save backwards compatible essentially. Well, in InDesign CS6, if I go to File, Save As, you will see that we can now save as InDesign CS4 or later. It's IDML. That's the extension, Design Markup Language. Pretty great way to be able to save back more than one version. Another thing in InDesign CS6 that I absolutely love is the ability to export a PDF, but in grayscale. This may seem kind of simple, but... Uh, Something I've been wanting to do forever, and I used to do it in Acrobat all the time. But if I come to File Export in InDesign CS6, and let's say I make a PDF. And by the way, if you do the interactive PDF content here, you can now save as pages as well. If I go to PDF Print and save it, you'll see that I'll keep the spreads. If I come to Output right here, come to Color Conversion, you'll see Convert to Destination. You can then choose, if I go way down here, the different dot gains and gammas, different things like that. So I'll choose like, uh, let's say gray gamma 1.8, click export. And what that'll do is it'll create a PDF for me. And if I go look at the PDF, there it is. So obviously I had the PDF ready. It's not that fast, but <laughs> so there's our grayscale PDF. All right, let me go back to InDesign. Uh, a couple other little things here that I cannot live without anymore in InDesign are, one of them is align to key object. I love this. If you work in Illustrator, you probably have used this like at least once a day. You notice I've got a bunch of images out here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to align all four of these images to this one right here. Now, in the past, it was a little trickier. Now what I can do is if I shift click or select these four images somehow, however you do it, and then you come to the one that you will want, want to align the rest of them to and you click on it again, it's kind of weird. I let go of all my keys. I click on it again. You'll see this total highlight happen here. Now, if your screen is wide enough, you might see your align options up here in the control panel. I don't. So I'm going to come under window, object and layout, align. And you should see either in the control panel or in here, align to key object right there, align to key object. That happens automatically as soon as you click on one of these objects again. And then if I do an alignment, let's say align left, you'll see what happens here. It aligns to that one. Click to deselect, and there we go. Pretty cool. Close that up. Uh, last thing here, real quick, pretty simple. If you are working with a bunch of text, let's say, let me zoom in here. Bunch of text, and you change a font. So let me go change a font to something like Adobe Caslon. If you come into the type menu, or if you look in the uh, character panel, you'll see font. We now have a recent font listing right here at the very top. You will also notice that if you open a file and it's missing a font, It'll also say missing here, right up here somewhere. And it'll give you a listing of all the missing fonts. So that's really helpful, I think. But anyway, just a few things to think about with InDesign CS6.